Welcome back. Joining us in studio, we have Tess Brunet of Lanyap Records. Thanks so much for being here with us today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. So we're talking about what's trending in the record world. We were talking during uh, the show that there's a lot that goes into for you guys when it comes to picking what you have in store. Yeah, absolutely. So what is in changes week to week. Um, every single week we put out a whole new row of pre-love stuff, of collections that come in, but also new releases, new music, new, um, new stuff that's out on vinyl, mm -hmm. um, such as like Tyler the Creator and Olivia Rodrigo. Oh yeah. But we also have, um, you know, a lot of stuff that isn't maybe necessarily as mainstream or as popular. Um, so it's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of, I extract from this giant list of 600 new releases a week, um, basically stuff that we think uh, that people would hear yeah. would like, but also stuff that um, maybe isn't so obvious mm -hmm. um, that we like. So it's a little bit of a curation going on there, and it's a combination of the two. It's really cool. And you brought some of the trending stuff this week. So mm -hmm. what are some of the records that you brought with you? Um, well, this one obviously is really popular right now. But for example, like they just reissued uh, Judd's Greatest Hits, mm -hmm. which, you know, I mean, who doesn't like the Judds? I know, know, and I love They're that, uh, the art on the front, too. It's so whimsical. Yeah. Um, and then, for example, we have stuff like, um, you know, of the pre-love stuff that came in this week, you know, uh, we get in collections from people every week, uh, really? their personal collections, and then we go through them and uh, see what we think uh, would do uh, well, in our store, in yeah. our location, and stuff like Steely Dan, of course, classics like Bob Dylan, oh, wow. and Stevie Wonder, um, but yeah, it's just sort of, and you never really know um, week to week what it is, especially with the you stuff, because we're at the mercy of people who come mm -hmm. in with their collections, so uh, on a week to week basis, as far as the uh, you stuff goes, that can completely change. And um, the benefit, though, that you get um, from a record store, at least most record stores, is that we kind of go through everything and clean it for you. Yeah. And everything is alphabetized and by genre and really well organized. So you can go in to the section that you want to go into and go kind of right to it to see if it's there. Yeah, yeah, this is, it's so cool. Your shop is just so quaint too and they have such a big selection. Thank you so much. Yes. For being small, it does kind of really uh, cover a lot of ground. I mean, you yeah. had so much, and that's just a little snippet that you brought with you today. Yeah. Where are you located so people can check you guys out? Well, we're downtown, uh, a couple of doors down from Dwyer, same block, um, at 311 Jefferson Street. Awesome. Well, yeah. Tess, thank you so much for Absolutely. stopping by to show us what's trending in the record world today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Of course. Yeah. If you at home want to learn more about Lanyap Records, head to our website, klaf.com. We're going to post how you can find them right there. But in the meantime, let's check in with Adam Olivier.